hi guys welcome welcome back thank you so much for being here in this video we are doing a sewing tutorial and we are looking at how to make a single pinch pleat curtain curtain panel right and i will be doing two parts in part one i will show you how to figure out how much fabric you need or how wide you need your fabric to be to make your panel and make sure that it fits when you are done and then in part two we will take this um whatever we do here and do a practical by making a, a cur curtain panel right so when we're making pinch pleat we need extra fabric so how do we figure out how much fabric we need to add to our panel so that when we're done our panel fits this is how now let's make do we have a window area to cover that is 68 inches now the first thing we do is divide that 68 inches into two because we will need two panels and so when we divide 68 by two, we get 34 inches. So each side is 34 inches. Now we are going to start our panel as if it is 34 inches. So let's just put 34 inches. When you're making your pleats, you want to start away from the edge. I started two inches. You can go up to three or three and a half inches. It's a personal choice, right? The first thing I'll do is subtract this two inches from the 34 inches. So that's 34 minus two equals 30 two inches and as i said before that is because we are starting our pleat two inches away from the edge of the panel between each pleat is a space we need to establish how wide we want the space to be now on this panel I have the spaces at three inches. What you should be aware of is the wider you make the space is the less pleats you will have, the more spread out the pleats will be, and the flatter your drapery, uh, your, your curtain panel will appear. So if you go more than three inches, then this pleat here would be an inch over here. You, you see what I mean? And so, um, it doesn't give that fullness when you look at your panel. So I'm suggesting go three inches or even less. You could even go less than three inches. But here I'm going three inches. So what I will then do is to find out how many spaces I will have between these pleats. I will go ahead and I will divide this 32 by three and that is because i am making my spaces three inches wide so that's going to be 10 and you're going to have two inches left over right so let's draw a diagram and so we have a piece of fabric here we started two inches in, so we have this two inch space on the leading edge. And then now we are gonna have 10 more spaces. Let's see, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we have 10 spaces. Usually, you have one more pleat than spaces that you have. So if we have 10 spaces here, 
it follows that we should have 11 pleats. I guess I need a new one. Anyways, I don't have any more right here. So let's continue. Okay, so let's see how many pleats we have. The lines are the pleats. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven pleats. Right? Now, what we and then let's just deal with this now. We have two inches left over here and that is going to be for your return edge so your leading edge is on the inside of the panel where the two panels meet and the other end is referred to as your return edge so this is your leading edge that's your return edge right so what we will do next is figure out how deep we want our pleats to be now I don't use less than one inch deep pleat. The reason is when your pleats are um, less than an inch deep, then your pleats start appearing flat and your curtain panel will appear flat, just as though it will appear more flat when you make these faces bigger. And so I would suggest that you use a one inch deep pleat like I did here and so if your pleat is one each deep what will happen is you'll have to multiply that by two because your pleat has two sides right one inch one inch so you need a total of two inches for each pleat so we need two inches per pleat how many pleats do we have? We have 11 pleats. Therefore, we will take the 11 and multiply by 2 inches. So that's 11 times 2. That's 22 inches. Now, our fabric here was 34 inches. So we will take the 34 inches and we will add the 22 inches that's 56 inches however to finish off the width of the fabric what we need to do is add the side hems now generally i will say do a two inch double hem and if you do a two inch double hem on your side well this one has a one inch double hem but generally if you want your curtain to look more custom then go with that two inch double hem unless of course you're short on fabric it's not a must do it's just a suggestion so let's use a two inch double hem it means that we're gonna have plus four inches on the one side here and plus four inches on the next side so we'll have to add 8 inches to the 56 inches and we get 64 inches. That is how wide you would have to cut your panel in order to get all your pleats and end up with your curtain panel being 34 inches inches we are going to take the 64 inches and go ahead and calculate how much fabric you will need overall to buy to make two panels for this window and you will need to use your window size right but this will be a guide so that you can use it to calculate your fabric yardage so going back to here 64 inches times two because we need two panels that is two fours are eight and two sixes are 12. That's 128 inches. We will need 128 inches of fabric to go across the window. The next thing we decide is what width of fabric 
um, is what width fabric are you planning to buy? It could be a double width fabric. It could be 60 inches. It could be 54 inches. 54 inches is pretty common. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide the 128 by 54 inches. So that's 128 divided by 54 equals 2.37. So that's 2.37. Three, seven. This 2.37 is telling you the number of uh, widths of the 54 inch you will need to go across the window. However, we do not buy fabric in partial widths. We buy fabric in full widths. If it's 54 inches, we're buying the full width. Okay? And so we need to bump this 2.37 up to 3. So therefore, we need three widths of fabric. Widths of fabric to go across the window. The next thing we need to consider is our length. How long are our curtains going to be? So let's say the curtains are going to be to fit a space that is eight feet, right? If it's 8 feet, it means that we multiply 8 by 12 or 12 by 8, same difference, to get the inches that we need for the length. So that's 2 eighths or 16, 8 one eight and 1 9, that's 96 inches. However, we also need to add increments for our top hem and or a bottom hem now usually i say add eight inches for the top and eight inches for the bottom that will give you a four inch double hem at the top and a four inch double hem at the bottom which means that we add 16 inches of fabric so that's 96 plus 16 two sixes are 12 9 and 1 10 and 1 11 so that is 112 inches. Now, we need 112 inches long fabric. But that's just for one width. We need three widths. So we will take the 112 inches and we will multiply that by the three widths that we need. That's three twos are six, three ones are three, three ones are three. That's 336 inches. Now, the next thing we do is take our 336 inches and we divide that by 36. And we divide by 36 because there are 36 inches in the yard of fabric and we need to find out how many yards of fabric we need. So that's 336 divided by 36 equals 9.33. So that's 9.33 yards of fabric. And usually I bump it up. So we bump up because we don't want to run short in fabric, right? So it's better to go up than to go down. If we go down to nine, we will surely run short in fabric, right? And so we bump up the 9.33 to 9.5. So we go ahead and buy 9.5 yards of fabric to cover a window space that's 68 inches because we are making a single pinch pleat um, set of curtains. In this video, we will be looking at a very easy way to make a single pinch pleat curtain panel. And we are going to begin by making a template. So let's get started. In order to make our template, we will need a straight edge, um, a piece of cardboard wide enough or bristol paper that's what i'm using here and we'll also need a pen a pencil or a marker a fine tip marker so what we'll do is line up our straight edge on the bristol paper 
and then we'll start marking now we are going to start our pleat two inches from the edge of the curtain panel therefore we'll mark off two inches then our pleat will be a one inch deep pleat so we'll go ahead and mark off two inches our next mark will be for the space between the pleats and we are using three inches space so that's mark that mark is at seven inches then pleat at nine inches space 12 inches pleat 14 inches so you see what we're doing we start with the two inches from the edge then we did pleat space pleat space pleat now we are doing space then pleat and space if you want you can go ahead and just put your little notes here just so you know what you have here so i can go ahead and just write p for pleat s for space p for pleat s for space p for pleat s for space that's how we go okay now yeah this is way too big to maneuver so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut off the part that we have marked to use as our template there we go so now i'll go ahead and i will cut this strip off here now depends on if you decide to make your pleats deeper then your pleat would be whatever measurement you decide if you decide to make your spaces closer then you make the adjustments to make your template now we have our little template here we're going to put it put it aside just for a bit and then we're going to start working on this fabric panel that we have here now i am going to be doing um double hems on the side and i am choosing to do a two inch double hem on each side okay so i am going to go ahead and i'm going to mark off four inches using my little measuring gauge mark off four four inches there we go and i am going to press in the seam into the fabric down here let's just make sure it's four inches there we go make sure i'm all good yep so we press okay so now i'm gonna turn this back and then i'm gonna go ahead and fold the fabric back to the seam i just pressed into the fabric and i'm gonna go ahead and press i will link a video for you to show you this method that i used to do that double hem because this is the easiest way to do your double hem the easiest easiest way now i have pressed in my two inch double hem 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a couple pins in. I put three. Okay, now I'll do the same on the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to stitch both side hems and then we'll get to the top hem. Now the side hems have been stitched. Let's do the top hem. Now generally I recommend that you use a 4 inch double hem but what I'm going to do here is use a 3 inch double hem because I am doing a shorter panel. So if you're doing a shorter panel, you can make adjustments. You don't necessarily have to go ahead and do a 4 inch double hem. For example, if you're doing a valance, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure off for the 3 inch double hem. So I am measuring six inches my gadget is six inches so i'm gonna go ahead and measure six inches always stitch your side hems and then your top hem now I'll go ahead and stitch the top hem. Now we are ready to form our pleats. We're going to flip this on the right side. We're going to take our template, put it to the edge of the panel then you can either use a piece of tailor's chalk to mark your spots or you can use pins so i'm gonna go ahead and put in some pins So I'll put in a pin for each mark. I'm ending here now with my last pin for now and this is what we'll do we'll take the panel and we will put the two pins together for the pleat I put it to make sure that you guys can see it there we go and then I'll just go ahead and I'll just use one pin to pin both layers of fabric together. I can take out the other one. Our next pleat, it's the same thing. We go ahead and we put both. We'll go ahead, put both together. We can take out the extra pin so you can see that's how we're forming our 
pleats i'm going to go ahead and pin all the pleats that we have marked so far and then i'll stitch and then we'll take it from there that's a space here and so let's go ahead and stitch these pleats okay so pull the fabric together and we are going to stitch from the top here to the bottom of the, the three inch heading So I'll go ahead and I will stitch now if you think you might not be able to stitch your one inch straight down what you can do is also find out by measuring where your one inch would be at the bottom here and then you could mark it let's do the other one so this is what i'm talking about you go ahead and you figure out that's one inch there. You could just stick a pin right here just to make sure that when you stitch from here, you will end up here at the one inch. the pin you want to snip off all the extra pieces of thread and that's our second pleat now let's go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and do these two and then I'll show you what's next. For your one inch, instead of measuring on the fabric, you could actually put a mark like a piece of tape like i have a piece of tape here that i used to do something previously you could put a piece of tape and so you would just go down beside the tape and then you know you're doing your one inch And always line up the top of the panel here, just like so, before you start stitching. Just so your curtain panel pleats are not wonky. See how our pleats are forming nicely? Okay, so the pin that we
put here, this last pin here, is actually the beginning of the next pleat. So what we'll do is, remember we started with a two inch at the edge here. We'll start from this two inch. We'll put it right on this pin here. And we put our pin and that's gonna be our next pleat. And then from there, we put a pin for each mark. And then take it back to the sewing machine and stitch the other pleats. I'm just going to do that until it's done. And then you guys will see the finished product. So I'll speed up the video right now and get it done. Okay, so one of my pins just fell out. If that happens to you, just go back. You know you ended at a space, so you just line up your template and then you find where your pin fell from and then you just go ahead and put the pin back. If you get to this point and your fabric is bulky and you find that your pleat is landing on top of your side hem, you can always just go ahead and manipulate this pleat so that it does not fall on the side hem, which will make it very bulky, just like I am doing right now. So I'm just going to manipulate the pleat. So I may end up with about two and a half inches in the last space and then two inches here, but that's fine. Just like if you have to join um, panels to make the width that you need, if you're going to have a pleat that is going to be on top of that join, you can manipulate that pleat so that the join is in the space rather than on the, the pleat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a one inch double hem at the bottom. This is the panel. This is what the back will look like when you are done. So your, your clips, let me see if I have any of them. Ah, I found some clips. And so what you would do is use these clips and you would go ahead and put them up behind the pleats It's always a good thing to give your curtain panel a little training now if you're doing a valance like this one you may want to train it before you install it on the curtain rod but if it is a long panel then you can train it while it's hanging so you basically fold your pleats And then you use a piece of fabric 
and just tie the pleats together just like so tie the top because this is a shorter panel call it a valance um we we only need to have two pieces of fabric to tie but if you are doing like a full length curtain then you should tie it at at least three places the top the middle and the bottom so what i'm gonna do is leave our lovely single pinch pleated valance to train overnight hey friends so it is a new day and we left our single pinch pleat valance overnight to train so i am going to go ahead and untie it and hang it on a rod just behind me here okay so let's get started let's see what it looks like okay so before i put the rod up i'm just gonna go ahead and put 10 of these rings on the rod because there are 10 hooks so that's one two now let's untie this baby Wow, that's what you get when you train your pleats. Well-behaved pleats. I truly hope that this lesson was helpful. Please let me know what you think. Drop it in the comments below. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing and for um, supporting my channel. Please consider becoming a member of the channel. Um, it's only $1.99 per month and there are quite a bit of perks that you will benefit from if you become a member. That's a way um, that you can help to support um, my channel. Okay, thank you so much for everything. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription button and remember to hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified of new videos. Sending you lots of love and appreciation. I will see you in the next video.